Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. This is part three of a four video series explaining how to find an exact value for a trick, what I call puzzle questions. Okay, so we're given here that angle is in quadrant four. I'll put a little error over here knowing that's quadrant four and we have sine theta is equal to minus three over five so this is five units sine theta is minus three so here's our big sine theta here and minus three so this is a minus three over here okay now once again what's important is that you know where the reference angle is I'm gonna shade this little triangle here reference angle is always compared with the uh, horizon horizon or if you want to think of it as x-axis that does that's fine also so make sure the reference angle is marked off over here and then what I usually tell students is do me a favor and just draw it one more time so this is R here is a 5 there's a 3 and then Pythagorean Ugh, my tongue is tied today, is equal to 25 minus 9, which is 16. Okay, so from here, all the stuff is set. And then also, to find, oh, we don't need a cosine, we need a cotangent. No, let's not start there. Let's find a secant. Secant of theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Okay. Uh, theta is really ugly. It goes around the whole circle. So what we need to do is, is it a plus or minus? We don't know yet. We'll draw a circle here. And then the value itself is related to the cosine of R. Okay. Now earlier we said how we pick plus or minus. We're going to have that little tri trig that says uh, Y sine the paper, which is really to say y value determines the sine for the sine alpha. Okay. And then crossing or pedestrian pedestrian crossing sign says x determines the cosine of value for R. Okay. I hope those two works for you, and if it doesn't work for you, find something else that works for you. Whatever works for you on that pressure of test you can recall that's the whole point of it you don't have to use this y sign and a cross on crossing if it doesn't make sense to you that's fine find something that works for you all right so since we're looking for cosine over here we know it has to be x value x value in our quadrant four up here is positive so the value is going to be positive cosine of r okay now from there all we have to do is figure out what cosine r is Cosine r is 4 over 5. So therefore, secant of theta is equal to 5 over 4 and a positive. Okay? Now we need to find a cotangent of theta. That's plus or minus. We don't know yet, but it's related to cotangent of reference. Now in fourth quadrant, cotangent and tangent are negative, which is really easy to remember because cotangent is really x over y, uh, the other way, y over x. Okay, so in our fourth quadrant, oh, this is just ugly, y over x. There, yeah, much better. In our fourth quadrant, x and y does not have this, they don't have the same value, so of course it's going to be a minus sign. Minus cotangent of r. So it's equal to minus, let's say, cotangent is 4 over 3. So my cotangent theta is equal to minus 4 over 3. All right? I hope this is clear as the process, as you work more and more, the process is getting clearer to you. So really, we, we need to find a reference angle and then determine if it's a plus or minus. That's really, just, that's it. There's not more than two steps. Okay, so don't let it trouble you and um, get you scared of this type of problem. All right, I hope it's clear once again, and please leave a comment on YouTube uh, for this video, and let me know how you liked it, if it helped you at all. All right, until next time.
Have a confident day.